Hello and welcome to a slightly different video. Today's video is going to be what happens when you unbox your brand new SkyQ mini box. So we've had SkyQ for roughly a month or two and already my box broke. So we ordered a replacement one which was free through Sky because that is not our fault. So you'll get a box like this. If it's a SkyQ main box it'll be slightly bigger. Once you open the box you'll find oh, a multitude of things. A lot of health and safety leaflets etc. Uh, set up user manual, there's going to be a little label on there, you get your two AAA batteries but because I had a box before I already have two sat aside somewhere out of shot apparently right now that's not important, we will find those there we go, found those inside the box, apart from these you'll get your box, your TV remote, HDMI cable and power adapter So. In my case, I've still got an HDMI. I don't need this one just now. And I'll leave those in the box. But I will pull the actual Digibox, as we like to call them, out of its case. So to get this out of here, you pull up the little tabs on each side. And they use the cork to hold it in now instead of rubber plastic. Slide it out the other side is your brand new Skybox. On the rear, you'll find your power, reset, Ethernet, HDMI, uh, optical audio speaker system perhaps and behind there there is something else there we are so your other port on the back of the box is a USB port has your model there which is exactly the same as what I had before on the bottom you'll find your serial numbers and you also find one screw that's hidden by a little sticker I am autistic I would notice that but don't open it because it's not your property on the top sky Another one, infrared port for your remote control, your standby light button, and your WPS, I believe it is, internet reset port, eh, button even. So, in this little paper pouch, because it's not plastic anymore, Sky doing an ocean rescue project, as you'll see on the box. Inside here is your TV remote, just give me a second. There we are, there's a TV remote, it's Sky's latest model of remote, you'll find on the other series, they, this was before ours, they had a microphone port on, or a microphone button, I keep saying port, I'm sorry, a microphone button on one of the sides and some of the buttons were placed very slightly differently, but these are the newest ones. So now I've got to put the batteries in there, and of course, those are brand new batteries, so I'm not going to use them when I've got ones that still work right here so batteries going that way and I no doubt there'll be a light flashing that I can't see just now is that way up there you go so apparently if I press the help button or question mark yep there we go it flashes happy days that's going back in there power ports coming out uh, plug geez oh and I'm still going to put everything back the way it came so it looks like I haven't unboxed it because that's still the same shape and there's everything back the way it would have come in the box just minus obviously the box itself and the power cord so I'm going to plug it in now and hopefully be able to show you step by step how to set it up if not, yeah we'll see okay I'm now over at my TV set my box previously was sat under there so I have a feeling it might have overheated a little bit but no information on that plus the box has literally no vents so can't really see how that would change anything but this time I'm going to set it right there on a slant so there's plenty of ventilation around the bottom of it too perfect yes so here is the HDMI cable which we're going to plug in sky branded of course just lucky they don't want that back as well even though my box is broken I don't know what they're going to do with it there's the HDMI port right there and a power port coming up Alright, the power's on the left, plug that in, face the box forward, and we get a flashing orange light and it says hello. Yes, I have a cuddly toy behind me, don't worry about that. So we had the remote set up, there's a box which can now be closed over really. You'll be ready to go in a couple of minutes, your screen will shortly go blank, please do not switch off. And very shortly it's going to also say your screen's going to go black. 
press the home button when it does so. But we'll wait until the screen changes now. There's the screen I was on about. When the screen goes blank, press home to get started. That's going to happen fairly quickly. There's my LG TV recognising it's SkyQ Cambridgeshire. I'll also add the same thing happens with Virgin Media. It comes up Virgin Media Cambridgeshire or something along those lines. So now that the screen's gone blank, we have an orange light on the box. We press the home button on our remote, which flashes an infrared signal, turns the box green lit. To get started, press, <laughs> that's the middle button on your remote, that one there, to connect via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Just do that. Go to your nearest connected SkyQ product and press and hold that WPS button until it flashes. I'm going to go and do that in the next room. So in the next room, it's now flashing an orange light. Mine's just doing exactly the same. There you are for reference. It does this. There's Milo down there. So now that they're both flashing, that's just gone green. Not gangrene, but gone green. Obtain an IP address. And shortly we'll be connected. Connecting to your Sky Q box. Just now. There we are, then your Sky is now set up. It's not connected to the volume, as you can see right now. So, you want to head down to settings. That's help, settings, setup, remote control, means a SkyQ remote, so then you want to hold one and three together, while making sure it kind of points at the box like such, you'll see the lights flash on it, there you go, remote control setup, and very quickly it'll set itself up. It's now paired to your box via Bluetooth, continue. My TV is an LG, LG, no, it's not what I meant to do, there we go, LG, find it for me, is that correct, yes, absolutely is correct, there we go, up, down, sounds good for me, yes, that does work, I don't have a speaker system, it's now set up, finish, okay, lovely, now we'll try something like, Going to a different channel, TV Guide, all channels. Scroll down a few pages, make sure it absolutely works. Now you, you can tell it's synced with the other boxes now because Death in Paradise is recording, that'd be my dad. And we'll have a look for something that's half decent. There you go, Wheeler Dealers. And that should come on fairly quickly, like such. Press OK again, and you're full screened. That's it set up. Pause, rewind etc. All works fine. Thanks for watching.